old school stalker evolution, more commonly known as OGSR Gunslinger in this case, is a fully standalone mod based on Shadow of Chernobyl. Although it's Shadow of Chernobyl at its core, it's completely different. Don't worry, I'll explain in a bit. But first, what's OGSR? Well, according to the GitHub, it's a evolution of the X-Ray engine. If you don't know, X-Ray engine is the engine that powers Stalker games, which is one of the reasons why Stalker games are so unique, and one of the reasons why it's a nightmare to run, let alone mod this game. But that's a subject for another time. This is where OGSR comes into play. It aims to improve the engine, taking advantage of new APIs, fixing a lot of errors, basically enhancing Shadow of Chernobyl to take advantage of modern systems. That's it. No, it's much more complex than that, but it will take me at least an hour to explain everything. What are you waiting for then? We don't have the bandwidth for that. So basically, OGSR, the standalone mod, not the engine, aims to improve old school stalker evolution. In this case, however, it also adds Gunslinger on top of it. So now you are probably asking what's Gunslinger? Well, it's a weapon overall mod for Call of Pripyat. Calling it awesome is, well, an understatement. However, it's a bit different than Call of Pripyat's. Damage is hilarious in OGSR. I'm not joking. A well-placed pistol shot can insta-kill you even if you are wearing an exo. No joke. You can even shot down a chopper with a Saiga. It's overpowered. <laughs> Don't get me started on the AI. They love grenades. They even noob to. They never stop. I don't think they're as bad as World at War on veteran difficulty. Are you sure about that, sweet cheeks? Don't get me started on the accuracy. They never miss. But once it clicks, you'll be a machine. Especially if you played Stalker before. So grenades are not a problem for you anymore. No, no, no. Grenades needs to be nerfed. But it's realistic. But man, the best gunfights are always at night. For some reason, I saw people complaining about the UI. And to be honest with you, I don't understand. It's not bad. It's simple, yes. A bit of polish here and there won't hurt, but it's not a problem. I thought it was broken. It's not. It did feel strange at first, but I got used to it in, what, 30 seconds? I don't see the problem. But man, the physics are hilarious. And probably one of the main reasons why it crashes. Weapons also lack detail. It's either the specular maps aren't reacting correctly to the new lighting system, or perhaps it's just a lack of cube map. I cannot tell for sure. Whatever the case may be, the mod is still in development, so expect it to get fixed in the future. So now, should you play this mod? Well, here's the thing. You see, OGSR is a mod for Shadow of Chernobyl, so as such, you may want to play at least Shadow of Chernobyl, if not all three games. Let me explain. OGSR does things different in many ways, not just in gameplay, but also in atmosphere and story. There are completely different and new anomalies, new missions, environmental details, hidden places. The mod adds a twist to the Stalker experience you previously had. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to play all Stalker games in order to enjoy OGSR. Just know that you may miss on a lot of references and mechanics that the mod assumes you already know about. 
Should you play this mod? Yeah, of course. The only way to get the mod is to join their Discord. To do so, go to the OGSR GitHub, then join their Discord. Don't download the engine, then copy it to your OGSR thinking it's gonna update it. It's not. When the mod gets an update, you'll find it in announcement on their Discord. Also, if you have an issue, don't hesitate asking. People there are pretty chill, so yeah, play it. Link in the description. See you next time. Inshallah.